What's up guys, my name is Ace, and we've been providing a lot of feedback and criticism on the Modern Warfare 2 beta. Today, we're going to be talking about something purely positive that I am having a ton of fun with in this beta so far, and this is the Drill Charge. This is a brand new piece of equipment that I kind of wrote off at first when I started playing the beta. I mean, I found it to be kind of cool, but I just found it was really inconsistent, and I was often just getting hit markers with it, and I just felt I wasn't getting the full utility out of it, and therefore I just swapped back to thermites like I used to use. Until I did some testing with it, and now I can see the true power and versatility of the drill charge, and just how much fun you can have with it in a wide variety of situations. So diving right in, for those that haven't seen, if you throw this on a wall, it will drill through the wall, and it will shoot an explosive out the other side. So this is great if you know somebody's camping in a room or on the other side of a wall or something. And that's sort of the basics of it. However, there's a lot more that you can do with this, a lot more versatility that you can get out of it. One thing that some people may not have tried out yet is this will drill through floors. So if you're in the second floor of a building, for instance, you can throw it on the floor, it'll drill through and drop a grenade underneath you in the floor below you. And this also works going the other way. So somebody's above you, maybe they're on a rooftop of a building and you're just below them in the floor below them you can throw that drill charge on the ceiling and it will drill through, launch a grenade up and take that guy off guard. Additionally, it's worth noting, it can drill through very thick walls, way more thick than I thought. And that's something that I thought was going to severely limit the potential of this. I thought it only really worked through standard thickness walls or like thin walls. But as soon as you got like a thick piece of cover between you and the enemy, then it wouldn't work for you at all. And that's simply not true. It will penetrate quite a bit more than you might think. And the next thing that I found that works really nice in the invasion mode, and I'm sure this is going to work great in ground war as well, this is probably the best vehicle counter in the entire game. So the way this works is if there's an enemy in a vehicle, and it doesn't seem to matter what vehicle it is, it could be one of the armored SUVs, or it could even be a tank, and if you stick that vehicle with one of these drill charges, unless that player gets out of the vehicle, they are going to die. Now, the drill charge isn't going to destroy the vehicle, assuming the vehicle's at full health, of course, it will damage it, but it's not going to destroy a full health vehicle, it's not about doing that, Instead, it's primarily just designed to flush the people out of the vehicle so then you can shoot them, or if they're too stubborn or don't understand what's going on, they'll sit inside the vehicle and then you're guaranteed a kill on them. I have been getting so many kills on people in tanks and in vehicles in invasion, and I just find it to be hilarious, and it's also a great way for hijacking vehicles as well. If you see an enemy as a tank and you want that tank, hit it with a drill charge, it'll either flush them out or kill them without destroying the vehicle, and now you can just hop in and that's your tank. Now, the one big thing that holds the drill charge back, and the one way that I'm sure some of you guys have been using it wrong, at least in some situations, it will still try to drill into the ground and it will still explode, and if an enemy is standing right on top of it, it can definitely hurt an enemy, but as far as I can see here, it won't actually kill a full health enemy, even if they're standing directly on top of the drill charge, if it makes contact with the ground. And I think that makes sense. I think that helps keep things balanced with it. If that was also like a guaranteed kill on enemy players, I feel like the drill charge would be way too overpowered. In fact, I already think it is probably a little too versatile compared to the other equipment. Which, by the way, there's one other little characteristic I wanted to mention. If you stick an enemy player with this drill charge, they're dead. They're going to die. Sure, they're going to have a little bit of time to shoot back at you, but once that goes off, they're dead. So if you guys haven't given this a chance yet in the Modern Warfare 2 beta, I highly recommend giving it a go, especially in the ground war or invasion style game modes where vehicles are involved because this is just an amazing vehicle counter. I'm so excited to see some amazing vehicle counterplay in this game because of the drill charge, and I'm excited to see how this translates into Warzone 2 as well. I feel like that's going to be quite a good piece of equipment for flushing squads out of vehicles. And with that, that's pretty much everything I've got for you guys today. I really just wanted to draw attention to this brand new piece of equipment and kind of share my love for it. And this is where I want to hear from you guys in those comments down below. What are you guys thinking about the drill charge in the Modern Warfare 2 beta so far? Have you been using it much? And if so, have you been finding a lot of success with it? Just let me know down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.